Like, ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like Do you guys know that I've already promised that we're gonna film a pump track video? I'm gonna do a reveal video of the actual pump track that we got here at the compound. Uh, as you guys know already, we got a humongous little uh, pump track here. So there's literally my jumps up there and then we have a pump track just next to it and this one is next level. There's a pump track building company called Sweden Mountain Bike that built this place. So over the last couple of weeks there's been some big changes going on at the compound. If you quickly just pan to the left hill, they're currently building a big pump track next to the jump. So we have the jumps here and then we have a pump track going on here. So they, over the last week they've been building, they've been stacking up some dirt and they're currently working on just finishing it up. Yeah, they literally just came here. The city of Jarfella managed to sponsor and then also like a biking community club here that sponsored half of it as well. So yeah, we got a great community here in Jarfella and uh, yeah they took the initiatives to build a pump track like this and this is actually like a really good pump track they it works for a professional rider it works for a little kid it works for everyone so i'm super excited about it i obviously had some pointers and like wanted to uh, fix a little bit here and there basically today we're gonna ride it we're gonna show it but before we even hop into that me and teal like all the time people are contacting us about doing fun shit all the time so there was actually a company that are doing motorized surfboards that invited us to just go and play on the water the other morning so i'm just gonna cut in a bit of a thing from that and then we hop back and do some pump track riding it's 8 a.m in the morning and you might be wondering why we're walking here uh, in the middle of nowhere with a helmet in our hands and that's because we're gonna go out on the water me and Theo absolutely sucks at water activities but uh, we got invited to do some sort of like jet surfing with some like I don't know if they're electric or whatever they are but they they got like motors on surfboards I have zero skills at all you've seen me surf if you follow me for a while it's absolutely horrible I can't even stand up and I've never surfed <laughs> so this is uh, you're in for a treat people here's the boards that we're gonna play on uh, they come in two sizes and I have no idea what we're gonna do and what we're gonna start with but uh, apparently they're they're electric motor boards so they're called jet board jet boards i think and the company is called radin that contacted us about playing here today and uh yeah it's a motor that shoots out water here and they're going super super fast they're supposed to go about like 50 kilometers per hour on the water i don't know <laughs> how do you feel uh, you're probably way more nervous than i am yeah I'm a bit nervous here. Yeah. Have you tried wakeboarding at all or no, something like that? Never. No, okay, cool. Perfect. First time odds ever are on board. Odds are with you then. Uh, yeah. The guys here are setting up a little camp here. Uh, we got some wetsuits laying there and then we got some different boards. Uh <laughs> <laughs> What's the status? How are you feeling? Uh, nervous how the water is going to feel. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, I'm not too concerned about this. I'm more nervous about the water being cold. I mean, I'm kind of nervous from this as well. <laughs> <laughs> Just because of pure safety precautions, we're gonna put up Theo first to see, because I got crankworks in two weeks and uh, yeah, we're gonna see if this is uh, way too dangerous or not, but... <laughs> <laughs> hate you. Okay. He actually looks a bit comfortable. Oh, he's on it. Mir fort! <laughs> that was actually a bit too good. I yeah. wanted I wanted a bit of a crash in the beginning, <laughs> but <laughs> it's so easy. <laughs> As 
you operate the whole board with just this one. So you're like putting some gas here and then you need to hold it even because when you're like trying to stand up, it's easy to just push it a little bit more or less and that makes you fall down or back. Like it's not good that we ha we get to do all these things for our YouTube channel. I mean like now I just need even more toys in my life. It's like a bit cold. Such an insane feeling and yeah, pretty cold in the water. But yeah. But oh it wasn't too cold with the suit. No, no. Like, as we said, we're so unexperienced when it comes to like surfing and wetsuits and stuff. But that was actually like not cold at all. Just thanks a lot to the Radin guys for bringing us out. We you were in the water a lot. You weren't like not yeah, really I got on the, the board. Harder, much. harder board than you. Yeah, you no, got I the, did. The kid board. I didn't really hear them say that it was that much harder. I heard. Okay, yeah, okay, cool. No. I didn't think about it before. Like, Imagine if I would have got injured, like I got crankworks in two weeks. I survived and I feel like we killed it. Like, yeah, definitely. Even though you were more in the water than on the board. No, I'm just kidding, bro. <laughs> Sick morning. Yeah. Uh, yeah, this is not something we definitely need to do again. Definitely. We need to like do like, if, if you're a company and watching this video and have some sort of random activity to do, just hit us up. We'll do it. I don't know. <laughs> we'll try it out. We'll try it out. Yeah. That was uh, very, very sick. It was fun to play a little bit with the uh, surfboard. As I mentioned, we're going to Crankworks in only two days. Uh, I'm actually bringing Theo and Felix, my little brother, and we're going to do a bit of a road trip. And on the way back, we're going to hit up some German spots and we're going to travel through Germany and do some riding with friends and people. So uh, hit me up on Instagram if you want to on come your spot so we can do that. We can go wherever we want in Germany so uh, yeah do that and uh, yeah let's get into this video we're gonna start with just doing some bombing so you guys can get a feel of how the track is so. As you can see, it's quite a fast track. It's very tight, technical, but fast, which I like. And uh, that's kind of similar to the Crankworks courses. So this is actually super, super nice. Yet again, thanks to Sweden Mountain Bike for pulling this off. But when they were here, they wanted me to like have my own little line. We managed to build like a bit of a, not step up, but like a bit of a hip jump and then a double after. So that's like the only place where we can do some actual jumps. So maybe me and the boys are gonna do a couple of tricks there. By the way, you saw all of those cinematic drone things. I was not the pilot, that's for sure. But I bought one of those like uh, DJI FPV, like FPV drones, where I can fly wherever I want. Uh, I suck at driving drones. I've crashed like five of them. So I thought it was a great idea to buy a super, super advanced one. They're super hard to fly, but yeah, I bought that one. I haven't even lifted it up yet because I'm so afraid of crashing it yet again. So I let my friend Mar Marcus here, Marcus Fredrickson actually. No, we're not related. If you're gonna ask that in comments. Uh, yeah, he flew some and uh, the shots are sick. So now I just need to do some simulating and then I'm gonna try it out at Innsbruck for the first time ever in my life. Yeah. Basically, I just wanted to show you guys the actual pump track and not like too too much riding since as I said like this is my last day of riding here in Sweden I'm gonna do some bike maintenance and then I'm gonna pack in everything with Felix and Theo and drive down to Innsbruck We're going straight there because of corona regulations. We need to drive all the way to Innsbruck 
be there for a week for crank works do slope style i'm super excited about that i haven't felt so excited about com competing in a while like i'm actually after last year in innsbruck got me really motivated and now i just feel super comfortable on my bike i've practiced my tricks i feel ready basically just want to get on the course and start riding and uh, film some videos for you guys uh felix and Theo is gonna film a lot of videos with me there so we're gonna do some vlogs from the contest but just keep your eyes peeled the channel is gonna go off in a couple of weeks here because we have some exciting news as well coming yeah next video will be from innsbruck so yeah subscribe and like and all that and then we'll see see you in innsbruck peace out when i was down and down along came you no no clear me svart mitt i sommaren när jag cyklar utan ett mån på himmel att det kommer lite svenska videon också alla vill att jag ska göra svenska men jag får ju inte sponsorer att tänka på det var kul också att starta en svensk kanal lite mer rejt Nej, det blir ingen bra.